Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Well, life is moving right along. A lot slower than I planned, but it's moving along. It is probably noon, and I'm just getting to where I'm about to clean up this car, clean up this mess here, and do what I need to do to get out of town. So when I'm ready to get out of town, I'm going to contact my person, ask them, is it okay to get there late? But let me clean up this mess I got here, back lemonade up, and clean it out glanced at my car and it is time for an oil change however I also have an oil leak and what usually leaks over here is the oil cooler lines I see this top one sweating I imagine the bottom ones down there leaking and I think I sold my last oil cooler block off plate so I need to see if I can find one of those block that off and change my oil because it's time for an oil change on lemonade. Let me empty this out, clean it out, reload it, and deal with this oil leak. I am still home running errands and about to change the oil here in lemonade. It's been about 7,500 miles. I got my part in for my main computer, so after I change oil, I'm going to do that. And I think I found an oil block off plate to block off these oil cooler lines. Somebody gifted me a part that they got from Rock Auto. They said it's the trunk lifts for the 850 cars. Now, I'm not a big fan on aftermarket parts in Volvos. However, little lifts for the trunks, not a big deal and not too many companies make these as long as they're not uro they're probably fine never seen that brand before it has a length a stroke travel distance and an eject force now i don't know if that's the force with or without the wing maybe something somebody else could let me know but they're not the ones that i don't like so they'll probably be fine make sure they fit good to go better than old busted ones and they don't take that long to replace so of course the ones of choice is the stimulus i think it's called but these will probably be fine i appreciate the gift i'm going to go find me an oil filter and change the oil first thing you want to do is check the oil make sure that the level's not low and if it is pay attention to that like I think I said earlier, I found an oil leak, so I need to deal with that. I don't have my normal oil filter handy, so I'm going to go in with this Canon Performance Gold. Awesome. I think it's a really good filter, so I should be okay. The model number on this thing is HP2004, and I did check the website. It does fit. I noticed recently that my engine's been a little noisy, and I pulled my dipstick just now. It's not reaching oil. So I'm at least two quarts low. I come down here and you see that oil here, all the way across there, oil on my subframe. My oil filter did have a little oil on it. I wiped it off. I got oil on that pipe. And here's the culprit. Man, these oil cooler lines. This one on top is leaking down onto this stuff and it's leaking oil. So hopefully this engine under this tarp has a block off plate on it so that I can put it on here. If not, I'm gonna have to find me an oil block off plate PDQ because I'm losing too much oil for comfort. So I'm gonna drop this oil out of this oil pan and however much is in there, then I'm going to measure it, see how much I had, because I added oil about a week or two ago. And then I'm going to change this oil filter. I'm going to write the new mileage on that new oil filter and see if this stops my leak blocking these lines off. I did find a oil block off plate on that engine. 
it had 10 millimeters on there, so that's nice. So I come in here, I fold this back. Now I need to get my T40, pop those loose. The one up there, one down there. And make sure this is under my subframe and that so it catches whatever oil does fall off of there. And then I'm going to pry it down a little bit and slide the oil block off plate under it. There it is. I got that screw out. Got this next one out. Need a magnet. That screw out. Now I just pull this down away from the engine and the oil will hopefully fall in my pan here. Yes it is. Ooh, I move that over just a little bit. I pried that down away from my harmonic balancer. Now there's enough room there for me to wipe that off and slide the oil block off plate in there. I pried the thermostat out and away from it a little bit. I wiped it off, brushed it with a brass brush. Now I'm going to put the oil block off plate on and put those two screws in it. Took me a few minutes to get it in, but I got it in. I looked down in between the oil pan and the subframe to make sure that I didn't pinch that seal and that gasket in there. So be extra careful. You got the gasket in right. You don't pinch it. Pull this oil thermostat down to the subframe. And now you can fill the car up with oil. Now you don't even have to drain the oil to do this. This thing is at the highest point of the oil pan. So if you need to change it, you don't even have to drain oil. Just go ahead and change it. But I'm going to go ahead and fill the cart with oil because I did drain the oil to change it. And then I'm going to start the car up and make sure I don't have a leak. So I need to spray this stuff down with brake parts cleaner. This thermostat may leak oil over the next couple hundred miles. That's fine. That's oil that's in the end of the radiator. But I won't lose any oil from the engine because it's blocked off with that plate. I'm going to leave this oil cooler thermostat and the oil cooler lines hooked up to the car until I get ready to do something else in there that will give me the time, space, and whatever to get those lines out easily. I can do it now, take about an hour or so to get it out, but I'm just gonna leave it there for later. If somebody wants this oil cooler thermostat, let me know, it is good. Usually, you know when these things go bad because when you start the car and the car starts to warm up, you'll hear a howling noise and that is the thermostat not opening up all the way properly or not opening up fast enough or maybe not opening up at all as it is howling it'll howl for maybe 30 seconds or so and then it will quiet back down but that may be one with an internal leak or it's not opening all the way up so this one's fine I just don't like the lines, so I'm bypassing it. I put the splash guard back down. I made sure it was pushed all the way up, and I put this little piece in here. Part of it tucks behind the control arm bracket, and it just makes sure nothing can get up in there that way. So I'm all done. Well, folks, time for the big reveal. Here's the part I ordered for my main computer. If my theory is correct, I should be able to just take this out, plug it into my outlet, and if it lights up, I'm good to go. If it doesn't light up, I'll try to install it anyway. Let's open it up and check it out. I managed not to cut it opening the package. So if my theory is correct, I should be able to plug this in right now to the power cord, and this little light down here will light up. Maybe not, but I'm going to give it a try. That did not work for either one of my power cords. Let me open up the computer, install it, and see if that works. And a few people told me that there's a good chance that it could be the battery shutting the thing down. So if that doesn't work, I'll pull the battery and try it with the battery removed. Sad thing. 
my replacement cord is a lot shorter than my original cord. So that is not going to work. Anyway, I got it plugged in. I'm going to see if the computer power is on. That at least tell me that's the problem. Nope. Still nothing with the computer. So I'm going to remove the battery and see if it powers on and plug the original power adapter back in. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.